Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I animate 3D text and we'll be using BCC Tidal Studio. So just add that. Then click on launch UI window. Now to get the same like workspace as me, you need to go to window workspace and then click on all panels. Then you'll get your materials here, all the position, settings, camera, lights, all the important stuff. Then we wanna go down here to scene and right click on this and click on switch to 3D render. Then select the text by clicking here. Then you can just enter your text here and you have all of these like normal text settings. So you can change the font and then text size, tracking, all the usual stuff. Then we can go to the materials and change it because the default one is pretty bad. By the way, click on the drop down to like navigate through the textures. I usually just take something from metallic textures because I think they look the best. So you can just choose something you like here. I think I'll take this one. And now for the animation, we're going to need to make all of the letters as separate objects. And we do that by right clicking on, on the text here and then click on duplicate track. Then we're going to just delete all of the letters except for the first one. Then click on the first keyframe. Go to the position. And now we need to add a fade for it because otherwise it'll just be still. So click on the position, then we have a slow fade, fast fade and smooth fade. I usually take a fast fade or smooth fade. I'll use a fast fade for this animation. So just add a fast fade to the positions and the rotations this and do the same on the other keyframe you have to do it on both because otherwise it it doesn't animate it for some reason so just do the same thing here then here on the last keyframe we're gonna reset it to, to the default position we want for for the letter so I'll just move it here at the a at the place of the a and then on the first keyframe, I'm just gonna put it somewhere around here. We wanna make make it like a, a random, like random text animation. So it's, all of the letters are spread out and then they return to the default position. Then just duplicate the A. Take the se second letter. Click on the last keyframe again and just move it like here. Then just take another position, maybe here. Change the rotation again. Like that. And I repeat the same steps for the rest. Here again, oops. And if you click on the other text, it'll get selected. So watch out for that. This gets pretty easy once you've done it a couple of times, but still, if you have a really long word, it'll, it'll take a while. Then the last letter. Here, and now we can delete the text, like the whole word. We just use that so we get the right position for all of the letters. Something like this. And it'll of course look better if you spend more time on it, but 
for now this is like pretty fine. So it looks like this. You can also just animate the rotation. That's what I did at the example at the start of the, of the tutorial. But this is a pretty normal animation for 3D text. A lot easier on After Effects though, but yeah, this is how I do it. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope this helped. Bye.